Hi, all. Uh, welcome back to SAB Business Object Processing Framework Series. Today we are going to uh, see the demo how we can create a determination to set the order ID for our business object. Let's open the transaction code business object processing framework export decode POBX. Sorry, POB and open our business object expand the local object open our business object and open the node elements and expand the root node put change the business object to edit mode and right click on select the determination as a node element right click create determination and give that determination name so let's say set order id nation so by default you will have a persisted as a determination category you will have something called a transient determination as well as admin determination category so let's keep it as a persistent determination category and then provide the class name where we're going to write the logic to you know uh, um, get the order id so let's give some name is a cl underscore um order id root okay, so just provided the order id class uh, determination class name and you can just go and right click the class so it will take you to the uh, class creation t code So press before navigating it, you want to create the class, yes. And before navigating to the class, you just save the business object, yes. And put it in the local object, yeah. So this class, by default, it's a determination. So by default, the framework create the class with the interface as a super class. Interface and the super class, super class will be used as a above cl library d which is determination super class simple so with this super class the current class will be created and it also use the interface frw determination so which will have the three methods so you have check delta and check and execute method so check and check delta is always the optional one execute method which is basically you write your logic to you now get your corresponding determination uh, another corresponding order id information so let's double click the execute method and just make sure that you know you have some kind of a importing parameter for the execute method so you'll have a isctx it key io read modify and your message and fail key and just to you know generate the object i'm going to put the et fail key as um, exporting parameter to clear it and then same way clear the other exporting parameter eo message so just save the object and do the check and activate the class definition so all these classes the corresponding object has to be activated so once you've done that just come back to the business object so this class is active so you have to set the trigger condition for the determination so as you know we want to have the order id to be uh, you know set on the root node so i want that determination to be triggered sorry 
determination to be triggered on root node while doing the creation of new instance i don't want to have that to be triggered on update so you have to be very clear on that and just to provide some information like which field we want to update we want to update this order id field and then you have a time points so while creating and what is the other time point you want to consider it which is we want to say it like you know draw a number before save draw a number which is meaning so always when you press save that point in time after you know entering all the information when you press save you want to get the order id before save the uh, you know order into the database tables so that's the reason you want to trigger the determination so we go on uh, set the trigger you know time point as a before save draw number you can provide any option so there is no restriction on that so i'll just select this come back and let's do the uh, so save your business object and do the check and correct yes there is some changes framework is doing it also do the check and so generate our business object so your business object has been generated so this is a way you can model your uh, determination to get your order id for the business object and so next session let's see how we can implement this determination class to get your order id thank you